Hey, Kayla, um, how, just how big an impact did Clarendon make in that debut today? I mean, it seemed like there was a whole different kind of pace and energy when she, when she, when, when they were in there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, she's a vet. Um, she knows the pace of the game. She knows uh, the personnel. Um, she just knows how to play, you know, at, at the pace that we wanted to. Uh, I thought she was great top to bottom, even defensively, just kind of being thrown into it. Uh, I thought that she she did a great job, but that's just a testament to her her being a vet and her being ready and staying ready. Um, and, you know, we were super happy to have her. I almost lost my voice, lost my mind when she made that shot. I wish it would have counted, but, um, you know, vets do what they do for a reason. They're in this league for a reason, and I think that she really showed who she was today. That three-pointer that broke the tie, I think the 72 all-time put you guys ahead for good. That was just cold. I mean, did, did at that point, did you feel like maybe things were going your way? I mean, yeah, we knew. I mean, obviously, we had come back from being eight down with a minute left, so I don't think any of us were thinking about uh, that in the moment. But, uh, you know, it was a big shot. We've been working on that exact scenario in practice, uh, you know, the driving kick aspect um, because so many teams do help on the nail. Uh, and, you know, she made a big shot. Uh, so I was really thankful for that. I was like losing, I was literally losing my mind the whole game. I think a lot of us, we were just trying to push over that hump. Obviously this isn't how we wanted to start the season, but to get a win like that in front of our home fans was, was amazing for us. Cody, go ahead. Uh, you talked about, you know, their play on the floor, but Leisha's energy, she seemed to like really give a punch in that first half. What did that mean to you guys? I mean, it was tough, you know, it was, it was the toughness that she brought. I think it was mental, uh, the physical, you know, like I said, she's been in this league, so she knew Jazz, she knew Bree, and so for her to just be there and be solid for us was a lot of everybody else to kind of settle into the game. Um, and, you know, she just played at a certain pace that that really kept us going. Obviously, um, you know, she, I don't know, I just, you could feel the impact immediately. And so, you know, when you have that in a vet, somebody who just showed up, you know, today and shoot around, uh, I know that feeling. So to be there and do that for us was was amazing. The, the and one uh, that she had and mm -hmm. the, the reaction after. How do you feed off that energy? Though? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, anytime you get to play like that uh, against a great team, especially to stop the bleeding mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh, I think they had been on a, a run right before that. So for her to stop the bleeding, um, you know, it just brings energy and excitement. The fans get involved. And, you know, even when you're tired, having those kind of momentum plays really just adds the energy into the whole arena. We'll go Doug and then Jack. Doug, go ahead. Hey, Cam Mack. You know, just talk about the rebounding tonight. I mean, you guys out rebound a really good team, and the guards were a big reason why. And I, 18 I'm, rebounds by the guards, if you didn't know. Coach uh, made you know, it sure we knew. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Coach has been harping on it. Um, obviously, you know, we, we know Sil, Fee, uh, DD, they're always going to be in their ace. Um, and so we just kept talking about guards digging out rebounds, and I thought we did a great job collectively um, securing defensive rebounds against one of the best scoring teams in, in the league, you know keeping teams like that to one and done is huge. And that's the difference between being, you know, down 10 and up, and, you know, or down five, you know, those types of possessions. And I think that we really learned that about ourselves today and the kind of the rebounding that we have to be, kind of rebounding team that we have to be uh, in order to win games. And, and you talked a little bit about it, but I mean, how tough is it as a guard to come into a team, have a shoot around and run an offense and like, you yeah. know what you're doing? I mean, you're all vets, but like terminology is right. different, I'm guessing, each team. You know, it's definitely, it's, I mean, it's definitely hard, um, you know, uh, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl, coach is really good at communicating uh, what exactly she wants. And, you know, she does a lot of ATOs and stuff like that. And when you've been in the league this long, you know, like a lot of the terminology, there's only a couple of things that are usually different, but I thought Lay did a great job of just kind of being confident in, in what we had and just competing. You know, I think that that's really what we needed. We needed the, the competition, the toughness. And I think that she really brought that for us tonight on both ends. And last one for me is, I'm guessing you saw Coach Hughes announce his retirement today. Yeah. And obviously you played for him. What, what, is, he, he what did he mean me. and such? Uh, so. you, know, you know, Coach Hughes, he, he drafted me in San Antonio way, way back, which feels like so long ago, in 2014. I can't believe I've been in this league for eight years. But, um, you know, I'm super happy for him and his next step. Uh, I know he's really close to his family. His son just graduated. Um, so I know that he's going to start this next chapter of his life. But I'm so thankful that I had that time with him. He was the one who made me a pro um, and, you know, I'll forever be thankful for the time that we had. And he's had so much success even before, you know, I got in the league um, and what he did for this league, you know, in numerous occasions, uh, I'll always be thankful for his time. And, but I know that he's super excited for this next chapter and I'm, I'm really excited for him as well. Thanks, K-Mac. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Jack, last question. Go ahead. 
Hey, Kayla. So as someone who's made just a ton of big shots throughout your career, what did it feel like to finally see one go down um, there in the fourth quarter after, after such a tough kind of collective team shooting start to the season? Yeah, I mean, it's been tough. I mean, offense, offense will come. You know, I was more concerned about the defense coming into this game. I know I'm a shooter. I know I'm a scorer. We, we know who we are offensively, and that will come with time. Um, but, you know, I was more interested in our, our defensive competition and the pride that we had on defense against a really, really good offensive team. Um, but, you know, I'm not I'm not worried. Um, you know, this is a this is a work filled group. Like I look at all these players and, you know, they're in the gym and when we practice. We compete and even in shoot around. We're very locked into what we have to do. Um, and coach has created that kind of culture. Um, of, you know, allowing us to have the space that we do, uh, the practice facilities that we do to, to keep working. And that will come, you know, and that comes with time and that comes with gelling. But, you know, the defense is where we build confidence in our offense. And I thought that that was really a testament to our win today. And kind of after just a really tough game on Friday, what, what do you think, what, what, what kind of improvement that you guys made were you most impressed with, maybe specifically on the defensive end of the floor? You know, I think it was staying connected. I think that, you know, in Seattle, you saw a little bit of, us going to our separate islands, you know, when stuff wasn't going right. Um, and I think today, even, you know, we were down, I think their biggest lead was, it says 14, you know, and I, I think that in, in those moments, we never held our heads. We never were like, okay, the game's over. Even when we were down eight with a minute left, we just figured out a way and we stay connected. And that comes with getting stops. That comes with trusting each other. And that's a big thing that we talked about even this morning, you know, and I think we could all feel that and kind of get over the hump. And we needed a game like this to kind of show us what it takes to win in this league because it's hard. It's gotten harder every year I've been in the league, and this is the hardest that, that it's been. And, um, you know, I think that it, it really showed us who we have to be in order to win. And, um, I was really proud of our team and our effort tonight because it wasn't easy. That's a great team. That team has been in the finals. I played that team in the semis last year. Uh, and, you know, I, they're a great team. They're well coached. But so are we. And I think that we were able to prove that tonight, not only to everybody else, but to ourselves. For sure. And then last one for you, you, you mentioned that connectedness. How much of that do you kind of credit to, you know, to Alicia really coming in and providing a spark for you guys? I mean, it, it, she kind of adjusted to us. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily anything, you know, everybody else kind of, <laughs> I don't know. We just kind of gelled. We figured it out together. It wasn't just one person or, you know, I think still always holds it down for us. Fee always holds it down for us, but it starts with coach. You know, coach gives us the confidence to go out there and be ourselves, gives us the confidence to go out there and be passionate and compete. And I think that Laisha could feel that, and she could feel that from us, especially tonight on our home court. The fans were amazing. And that was something that kind of carried us all together. So when you saw Leia just kind of gel with us, it was because we all, you know, she adjusted to us and we adjusted her, but coach created that environment for us to be connected as well.